I get a lot of opportunities to travel to Quebec. Anywhere I go in Quebec are always above anywhere else. It's always top notch. And this trip was no different. I don't like to come here by myself because the excitement you feel and the fun you have when you're here in Quebec, you gotta share it with somebody. You just have to. One of my oldest friends, Stefan, he's been on the show before. We've done a bunch of stories together. Um, so I've known Luke for almost the past 30 years. Uh, it's been a really long time, but yeah, ever since we were kids, we grew up together, hung out together, and um, I've had the opportunity to uh, go with Luke on several snow tracks trips and even dirt tracks trips as well. So the region we are traveling to is called USG Bay James. Surprisingly accessible for a lot of people despite how far north it is. The drive was really easy for Stefan and I from central Ontario. This region is famous for early and late snow. Very few places in North America can you ride this early. The place that Steph and I were staying on our first night was called Marina Shibugamu, and it's basically like 10 kilometers outside the actual town of Shibugamu, not very far. Really a nice spot, because when we went into the cabin, it was freshly refurbished, freshly updated, with very modern look. And the nicest part about Marina Shibugamu, though, was their restaurant. Their main lodge has, I mean, it's a five-star restaurant. That's what it looks like when you walk in. It's as nice as any restaurant I've ever been in, in any big city. Um, and of course, we're in Quebec, so the food is as good as any five-star restaurant you go to. Had breakfast there. We met up with our contact in this area. His name's Dex. Great guy, had a lot of phone calls with him before the trip, knew he was a super passionate snowmobile, perfect guy to hook up with snow tracks and go for a ride. And for after breakfast, you know, there was nothing left to do besides get suited up and get on the road, get on the trail. I mean, that's what we're here for. The, the town of Shibugamu was pretty vibrant town. There was a lot of, lot of people, a lot of shops, um, a lot of stores, restaurants. All the amenities that, that you would really need were, were there. So it, uh, it, was, it was a really nice town to, to you know, go into and experience. And we're going to be riding from Shibugamu to Shepe, that are both uh, cities that are separate from the road and the snowmobile trail for about 40 minutes. And then we're gonna ride to Ujibugumu, that is a Cree community, uh, about 45 minutes from Shibugamu. Really up until this point, I hadn't had a chance to go out uh, for a snowmobile ride yet, just because it's very rare. Not too many places uh, you know, have that type of condition this early on. Well over three feet of snow, almost like an early Christmas present, you know, being able to come out and ride this early, especially in, in such like prime conditions. Even back at home, mid winter, you know, when winter has hit its peak, it's still, you know, this was, I would say even, even better. It's definitely worth the trip. If you snowmobile, you need to come here because you won't be disappointed. It's, it's truly a great experience. To say these trails were perfect doesn't, doesn't really come close. You could have rolled a marble down most of these trails. We were the first ones on it, even though they had been groomed a day prior. That doesn't happen anywhere else. It said it's not busy. You can ride here all day and see a handful of sleds maybe. That means that the trails are safe because there's not a ton of people on them, but also they don't get wrecked. Most places when you ride out in the morning on a great trail, by the time you ride back in the afternoon, that trail's rough. Beyond that, the trails themselves, they're just spectacular. We rode tight woods, really scenic, beautiful woods trails, just high speeds and super fun and again, perfectly maintained. So the, the variety of trails that you find here, it's just very, very diverse. And I think that's a real important factor when you go to a new place to ride, is to understand that you're not just gonna go ride hydro lines all day, every day. You're not just gonna go ride tight bush all the time that's, that's slower speeds. You get a mix. So each day that you ride is a different experience. For my per perception, it's hard to tell in comparison with any trail in Quebec because I've been writing mostly here about what we hear at the snow show for all the real snowmobilers that do a lot of mileage. They love our region and we, they, we always have good comment because this is, the, it's snowy like uh, the Gaspésie, but it's an highway because there's no traffic. Always do like this with their hand and they say it's flat. It's an highway, we can ride many mileage in one day. 
as for our local trail, they're open and they're ready by the first couple weeks of December every year and sometimes earlier than that. And they last for the last month, uh, the last week of April. When we left in the morning, Dex told us that we were gonna ride to a specific spot for lunch. And it was something I had never heard of before. Now I've heard of clubs having warming huts and clubhouses. I've never heard of a snowmobile club running a restaurant on the trail. But that's exactly what, what this area has to offer. It's, it's super cool, right on the side of the trail. You pull right up, the groomer comes right through the front yard, and it's a nice looking building. It's not, you know, like run down, it's not, doesn't look gross. Walk inside, it's well finished, lots of tables, lots of chairs, places to warm up, all kinds of spots to put your gear. So we were freezing by the time we got in at lunch. We needed to get warm. It was a really unique experience that I haven't seen anywhere else, but one that to me made a lot of sense and should be everywhere because it was perfect. After we were finished with our lunch, the, the clubhouse restaurant, you know, it was back on the trails and I could have ridden all afternoon. I wasn't even thinking about eating dinner. You know, we put on a lot of miles and we had a lot of miles to put on in the afternoon again. Snowmobiling is really important to us because it's one of the big industries in the winter and it's a way of life of people that live here. Almost everybody owns a snowmobile. If it's not a mountain or a trail sled, it's gonna be something to go ice fishing or to work. Almost everybody owns a pickup truck and a snowmobile. So when you talk to people, if you get stuck, if you broke, people knows what you're talking about. They're helpful, they, they have knowledge about mechanical, about the, about the trail, where to go. The, I think the simple way to, to call it is way of life. It's, it's a way of life for us to snowmobile in the winter. Near the end of our, our trail ride for the day, we, we stopped at a First Nations community. Right on the Ujibugamu community. So it was pretty neat, this building that's super accessible for everybody. Just because it's in this community doesn't mean that everybody isn't welcome, everyone is. So we thought, let's take in a little bit of the history, let's take in a little bit of the culture of this area. And I always love to do that. If you're gonna come to a spot, you owe it to the people there, you owe it to the spot that you're coming to, to learn a little bit about it and take something away from it as you go home. They had this cultural uh, museum um, that was there that, that I guess is a pretty popular place to, to go. So we, we stopped, we had a, had a tour of, of the museum. We got to experience and learn about the, the Cree culture and, and, and history. It's a must do if you pass by the area. Most, most of the time, maybe except on holidays, uh, uh, it, it's open every day and it, it's, uh, if, if I were a visitor and for what I know, I'll stop by for sure. It's interesting to see how many of the actual traditions are still kept alive and still used today. I think a lot of times people think that in these communities it's all just modern and every, you know, a lot of the traditions have just been abandoned, but that's actually not the case. A lot of them are continued on the way they always have been. And that's pretty interesting. I think that's neat. After we were done at the, the Cree Museum, you know, we had a, a ride back. This trip to the EOSG Bay James region of Quebec has been, has been another Quebec experience. It's been as good as the rest of them, if not better in some cases. I mean, snowmobilers, we want great trails. Here, we rode out on fresh tracks on the right side of the trail and rode home on fresh tracks on the left side of the trail. It was crazy how, how perfect everything was, but we're willing to forgive a lot of stuff that's not great if we have great trails. Accommodation can be uh, food can be okay, trails are great, we're all happy. But in Quebec, you get those great trails, but you also get excellent accommodation, you also get excellent food, and you also get excellent people. But no matter what, make sure you put this area on your list of places to visit early in the season, visit late in the season when there's nowhere else to ride. That's the perfect time. It was a pretty nice trip. We, we've been riding along a couple good trails together. The trail was in perfect condition. It was a little chilly, but it's part of the winter. It'll be something that I will talk to my friends about, to my family. I will be telling people that you need to come to this area 
to ride. As far as what I've experienced snowmobiling, this is probably in the top two as far as, you know, best uh, snowmobile destinations that I've experienced so far. So it was really a lot of fun. And our, our destination wasn't back to the marina. We were going to another hotel right in the town of Shibugamu called Hotel Shibugamu. You know, another equally as great place, equally as good as all the places you stay at in Quebec, you know. Very unique from the road. It was right on Main Street in Shibugamu. The hotel itself was exactly what we needed after a long, cold day. I mean, but the cold was 100% worth it to get this experience, and the hotel was cozy, so it was perfect to end a trip like this at great accommodation. It was really enjoyable, relaxing experience of snowmobiling in Quebec. Overall, this place really offers just about everything you could possibly want. If you like what you've just seen, click the subscribe button and comment below. And make sure you check out all of our great videos on Snowtracks TV's YouTube channel.